Hey fellas, oh, I tanked up my unit sheet. So today, sorry fellas, Video Game Yoda here. Uh, if that name doesn't ring a bell, then you've probably not been on the DOS games forums before. So uh, what you're going to want to do is go to dosgames.com, and you're going to want to Click 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 um, click on the link, uh, write in your email, sign up for the newsletter. If you're as adventurous as me, with downloading video games and trying to be the best video gamer out there, especially when it comes to DOS games, you're gonna want to sign up for the fart uh, the forums. Yeah, I saw your I saw your deal on online. Uh, you can find me on there, same name, Video Game Yoda. Uh, oh, baby, baby. Today we're going to be um, investigating video game clap, video game classic clap. Go ahead and go on the DOS forums and check out some of the cool little issues. You can find some guides. DOS box not working, or if you are a troglodyte and you don't own an MS DOS you could figure out if your DOS box isn't working. Um, also, almighty guy I see there, I haven't seen what you said. I'm calling you out. You think you, think you know more, sh more crap than me? You think you more know more crap about me than DOS games? Well, this is, I hope you're watching this far because this is, this is going to be a real good lesson for you to so today we're gonna to be talking about <coughs> today we're going to the the genre that's pseudo three D two D called uh, the first person shooter. And today we're gonna to be talking about um, today we're gonna to be talking 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 about the first person shooter today. Today we're gonna to be talking about the first person shooter. So. The first person shooter was, I believe, first invented in 1990 for a, uh, for a, for a large, um, Ultimate Pep Feast pizza, $8.99, uh, with, a, with a purchase of crazy stuff by a guy named Gary called John Cormack. And John Col John Cor John Cormack, was originally he, he originally worked at a dairy farm and the cool thing about working at a dairy farm is you get a lot of free time because milkmen are lazy he was like i could be doing better shit than this I'm sorry crap <laughs> called up his buddy he called up his buddy john Parma, uh, romero and they sat in a basement together and their, their parents knew them as losers at first, but soon little did they know that that basement was going to be on top of a really tall tower, making it no longer a basement, but uh, something that I like to call best game company in the world, ID Games. ID Games, I don't know why they call themselves that, it's kind of a stupid name, if you ask me. I mean, you know, there's no login system in, in any of their games. It's as simple as just pressing launch. This video series is going to be in high res, 360p, that's right. Who's doing that out there? Uh, no, I fucking think so. Uh, let's see. See, my fan just turned off. So, this video is going to be, if you haven't noticed, in HD. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to see somebody else doing that out there on YouTube on your on your DOS box and getting straight to the game. So why they call themselves ID, I don't know. But <clears throat> anyways, they invented the first game that used two-dimensional planes to fool the eyes into a 3D game called uh, Clock. Clock was a game about a space marine, I think. Uh, 
All right, let's give a little de- uh, let's let's give a little description for a. Played from the first person's per- perspective, three dimensional computer graphics and style of play, Columbine elements of the run and gun computer game Doom, which is another game developed by ID, with exploration mechanics of Tomb Raider. I swear Tomb Raider was but Yeah, is there any way I could get that, uh, get that Sans pepperoni, just cheese? Player assumes control of Talsat, Turok, that sounds right, a Native American time traveling warrior. Okay. <laughs> Primitive world where time has no meaning. That must be, that must be like, that must be the planet of Quack. That must be the planet of Gok, Quack, sorry, Quake. That must be the missing lost planet of, or the, the planet of, uh, of Quack, where it takes place. I didn't know that either. Turns out I just read the description for Tur- Turok. So, <clears throat> a lot of people out there are probably watching this and saying, a video game Yoda stop being a cock tease and shows some gameplay. Well, I'm about to. So let's go ahead and roll. So I've been watching a lot of Let's uh, Let's Play with Adam Adam Sandler and Morgan Webb, and I got to say that um, I don't have enough money to do like an intro and an outro like them. You know, I don't got that. I don't got that G4 Tech TV money. Uh, I don't. I don't get royalties off of reruns of Cops for 12 hours a day. So, I but I will give it. I will give it a rating. Um, if I could give it a rating of any kind, I rate it uh, about a. Hello. I couldn't look up or down, which was really distracting because you know most most first person shooters you can like you can even zoom in, aim up. Uh, I didn't have a shield; it didn't regenerate. I had to pick up health packs, which were scarce. By the way, scarce. Is he gonna be okay? And uh, it was really weird seeing like you know like a cardboard world and like these little three D creatures running around. Gotta say, uh, not impressed. Oh god! Uh, really, it, it sounded like shit. They said that they had nine inch nails in the game. I, I didn't hear a single, I didn't hear a, a single snippet of, of Trap Razor's voice, so, dumb, dumb game. Uh,